Hey guys, this is Jason Lamb here, and I actually wanted to throw some thoughts out about something that's really weighing on my heart. Uh, I've seen this issue pop up uh, more and more frequently in student ministry and even in the church, and wanted to throw it out to us uh, as a point of discussion. Recently on Facebook, a friend of mine had posted uh, something to the effect of that they had done a good deed or a good action toward somebody, um, and they made a comment of how they had been able to be the good news to that person that day. And while I love good deeds, encourage good deeds, acts of service, uh, love and justice, those are all valuable things. Those are things that are obviously important to God. But I hesitate when we blur the lines between our good deeds and say that in some way that that also counts as the good news. Uh, The good news is something that we have to proclaim. Uh, It's the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and that is amazing news that needs to be spoken. People, just because of our actions, are not going to understand that Christ's death and resurrection are what motivate and fuel the reason that we do those types of things. Um, The reality is, many of us probably know Mormons, or Muslims or Buddhists who do amazing acts of service, who do good deeds, who love people in very practical and tangible ways, their motivation for loving on others is very different from ours. And so I struggle that we just assume that because we're Christians and we do good deeds, that people are going to hear the good news or observe the good news or be impacted by the good news because of our good deeds when anybody can do any kind of good deed. Uh, Again, there's value in that, but it in and of itself is not the good news. It's a proclamational message. It's something that we have to call people to make a decision about whether or not they're going to put their faith and trust in Jesus' death and his resurrection, and that is good news. And so my struggle has been uh, that we blur those lines. Uh, They're definitely, the gospel is powerful when it collides with good deeds and the good news is communicated. That makes a huge impact. Uh, But good deeds in and of themselves aren't the good news. So I'd love your thoughts. I'd love your feedback. And my prayer is that as we wrestle through ministry, as we wrestle through things like this, that God ultimately would be glorified and that people would come to know Him. And so chime in, share your thoughts. Thanks so much for your hearts and what you do in ministry. I look forward to hearing back from you guys.